Hello eye tracking community. My name is Michael and in this video we will talk about how to export eye tracking data from Pupil Player and how to import this data into Blickshift Analytics. On the screen we can see my home directory and in this home directory you will find a directory called recordings and in this directory Pupil Capture is storing the eye tracking data. Here we have several um, experiments and I go to the last one here from last uh, July or from July last year. And here we have several um, recordings by Pupil Capture. I'm now interested in preparing the first one, the, so the 000, zero, zero for Blickshift Analytics. So I drag and drop it here to the Pupil Player. Now this data is loaded into Pupil Player and here I can now set up the export process. So I always go to the plugin manager and check if here the different plugins are activated. One point is, and please check that in your projects, um, are the, the um, fixation um, detection parameters. So the minimum duration and the maximum duration. So here, for example, I will change the minimum to 150 and the maximum to 250 milliseconds. Now in Pupil Player, the fixation detection is running and will finally detect 105 fixations. To export this data now, I click here on the left side on the export button or I press the key E like echo on the keyboard. So let's click here. At this point, what you have to know is that the data export can take quite some time. And you can see the progress here on the right side in the icon bar. And when this little green circle is completed, the data has been exported completely. So we go now to this first um, recording here to 000, zero, zero, and there we will find a directory called exports. So we go into this directory and here we will find now the data which we have exported a few seconds ago in this directory. The only thing which you have to do now is you have to go to Blickshift Analytics and you have to track and drop this directory into our software. So Blickshift Analytics detects this data as a Pupil Labs data set. So the only thing which I have to do is to press here on the OK button and the data will be imported. I always propose to do a little data quality check right after the import. And that's very simple. I go to the Pupil Labs transformation node, make a right click, say visualizations, line graph, so automatically the line graph shows now the time axis and then I add another visualization, a film strip showing me the real situation. So it looks quite okay. So export um, and import is successful. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please press the like button, activate the bell so that you don't miss any of our future videos subscribe to our channel, share this video with your community and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.